Here we're demonstrating the process of flushing an MTU 2000 series engine with our Porta flush. Uh, first part of the process is to isolate the main engine seawater intake that we're going to do here. The first part is to uh, disconnect the raw water intake where basically what we did is disconnect the splanges here, turn this splange 180 degrees and use the hose to connect our fitting, our hose bar fitting to it to where we're supplying the particle buster through. What we're seeing here is the main engine overboard discharge right here and the transmission overboard discharge. Because the transmission has a separate discharge, we actually have to connect both discharges together through a manifold system and this is part of it. The air uh, transmission hose normally gets connected right here. What we did is just pull it out, connected one of our hose bar fitting to it with clamps, connected our uh, return hose to it. This here is the main engine overboard discharge that's normally connected right here. Again, what we did is loosen the clamp, dropped it out, uh, used our four inch uh, barb fitting, uh, reduced it to one inch, and connected our hose that goes to the overboard discharge manifold that we're gonna show next. Okay. Here we're looking at the uh, return manifold. This is the return line connected to the transmission holes. The uh, smaller the two hoses basically goes into the manifold here. This one here would be connected to the four inch hose, which is the main engine overboard discharge, and basically gets connected to the fitting that we put in. And what this does allows us to connect over to this connection here, our return hose, and have only one return hose going back to the port of flush that's outside. What we're looking at here is the transmission cooler, and as we can see, it, there's a T that uh, feeds the shaft seals to supply seawater to them. Uh, what happens here, if we don't uh, cap this off, Barnacle Buster is going to basically flow right out through the shaft seal, which are located back here. Here we can see where the uh, hose connection to the transmission cooler that's feeding the shaft seal is connected to. Instead of disconnecting them, what we've done is actually use a pair of vice grip and crimp the hose down, and that prevents the barnacle buster from flowing through the hose or through the shaft seals. Here we can see where the supply side of the system gets connected to the porta flush. Now we're looking at the uh, overboard discharge connection for the Porta Flush Junior where the uh, return manifold from the engine and the transmission is being connected to. Here we're looking at the three-way valves on the Porta Flush. What this shows you, the arrow pointing in this direction, shows that flow is going to be going out through this hose to the supply side. And what we see with the other arrow is that this is going back into the container here that's being used as our return line right now. Now we're going to add our barnacle buster to the system. Now that we're done with the flush, next part of the process is disconnecting the overboard discharge hose. Okay, next part of the process now, we're going to evacuate the barnacle buster from the portal flush. Once that's done, we're going to fresh water flush with fresh water.